Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know already, my name is Helen. I go by the Helen of Joy on TikTok and Helen of Joy on Instagram. I love all things fantasy and fandom and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my page. I would really appreciate the follow. And if you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram, my handles are currently below. So I just wanted to talk today. Today is gonna to be a Harry Potter theme. So I just wanted to talk today about how I chose my Hogwarts house what my original Hogwarts house was and why I came to the determination that I was not in fact a Gryffindor, but a Slytherin. Of course, I had sat down recently and I had really like thought about why I decided to end up in Slytherin because I had to take into account, not only was I basing this on my teenage self, but also the fact that like, I didn't really fit into a box in school. I often felt quite outcasted. But, you know, back then I was very, definitely had an ugly duckling phase. I wasn't cute enough for the popular girls and then the nerdier girls felt threatened by me sometimes and that's okay it's just I wasn't like their cup of tea and that naturally happens all the time but I did find myself quite an outcast during school and I feel like you know that just naturally made me a southern. I actually relate a lot to Lila Lestrange funnily enough because when I first met her character I was like oh well guess that's my housemate. But I definitely um, remember starting the series, reading the books, watching the movies, and really relating to Harry in particular. And, you know, I wanted to be in Gryffindor because that was like the brave house, the popular house. Like, But at the end of the day, like, that wasn't me in school. It was naturally sporty, not competitive at all. I definitely did not like to adhere to like any kind of class or any kind of act extracurricular activity. I definitely just had no direction, no focus when I was in school. And so when I was really thinking about it and I was like reevaluating where I stood with things, especially when I started making content about the fandom, it made me realize that like, I knew always I was a Slytherin, but like deep down, deep down, I like didn't want to be, I guess, mainly because I feel like, honestly, Draco Malfoy would have bullied me in school. I would have not got along with Draco Malfoy. He actually reminded me a lot of an ex of mine and that was just not my cup of tea, you know? And so when I broke it down and like really thought about it, I was like, oh, I'm not really a Gryffindor either. And then, you know, I'd already discussed like hybrid houses and like if I could fit into either like two different things at once. And then it made me really realize like, wow, like I actually have quite a few of the Southern traits. It's so interesting. And it's like, honestly, it's just like they say, like all bad people belong to Southern, but like there's good people in Southern as well. And I feel like they're extremely overlooked, extremely um, misunderstood. That's definitely words that sat well with me, especially in high school. Like I definitely would have said I was both of those things. And so that's why I find the Hogwarts house is so interesting because, you know, it gives you a chance to really, um, it pigeons holds us a little bit, I think, but it's also like, maybe you're not what you like think everyone thinks you should be. You don't have to be want to be something because you think it's like a bad look or that no that's not me i don't think it, like seeing like a shadow and like really acknowledging that i guess because it's just like how you know harry had the choice to go between slytherin and gryffindor and he chose gryffindor because he was worried about like oh but the bad people go to slytherin he didn't want to be that person but for me it was kind of the opposite i was like oh yeah, I'll just pick Gryffindor, but then didn't fully like feel comfortable there or didn't feel comfortable with like, I don't know, I just, it never like sat right with me. And then I did the Pottermore like uh, quizzes and everything. And I got Slytherin a couple of times and I was like horrified. I was like, what am I doing? This is not me. But then like, you know, as you age and you get to know yourself and you really like come to terms with like your past and you see how your behaviors were and everything, it really made me sit and think like, oh, Maybe I am. Am I the drama? I uh, would love to know what everyone else's Hogwarts house is. If you comments below, I would love to hear your responses. Did you feel like you were your Hogwarts house at first? Do you feel like you still belong there? And do you feel like you might be a hybrid house? Like a little bit of everything. The Hogwarts house is definitely um, represent a huge side of all of us. Kind of like four sides to the same spectrum, you know? It's like the elements, like everything like that. So. Hogwarts House is very interesting. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts.